Greetings, uh, it is Michael Davis here from Speaking CPR. I'm here at Improv Cincinnati with my little boy, Brendan. I wanted to do this podcast with you today because uh, back in January, you and I started doing improv together. Yes, we did. And you were reluctant. I was, very. What were you reluctant about? Um, I think I fell into a lot of the public's misconception that improv is bunch of people getting on stage acting crazy and wild and woo, trying to get laughs out of thin air yeah, and yeah. Uh, the second I started it you realize that's not what it is and I think I had my own personal pitfalls because uh, I was an in, I'm still in, I'm an insecure person that's just kind of how I've lived my life unfortunately but my journey with improv has helped me fix that quite a bit um, I was scared to step out of my shell I was scared to be vulnerable on stage which is a lot of what improv is so I didn't want to make a fool of myself in front of people, but the second you step into class, you realize everyone here is, you know, I, I don't like the term making a fool, but the first time you do improv, you're not an expert, and it's probably not going to be the best, but yeah. it's still, it was a really exciting experience for me the first time we did it. You know, one of our instructors, Sean, told us, it was Sean or Charlie, said that 80% of the time you fail in improv. Yeah. Okay, that, that's a great reminder. Uh, I know it's a cliche, the analogy of the baseball batter who uh, strikes out or, or he gets out 70% of the time makes the Hall of Fame. Absolutely. What, what was the biggest misconception you had about improv when we started? Uh, the biggest misconception was that it always has to be funny. You always have yeah. to be providing jokes. Uh, a lot of improv is grounded character work. It's playing real, realistic characters, realistic things that make people believe that, oh, this is humanity coming out of you. Uh, these, you could be playing a witch and a dragon, but they could be two characters that people find humanity in. It's like the witch could be a humble yet uh, braggadocious witch. You know, she has these characters, characteristics that people know and can relate with. So that was my biggest misconception, that it's all just jokey and punchlines and almost like stand up with other people, but it's not at all. Yeah, today we started the fifth out of five levels of, of improv school coaching kind of this will be our last level and we will graduate i guess we get an improv certificate but no, I, I mentioned that because what we're learning today what we learned today is that it's character development give the how and the why your character acts why it does well that's all i talk about in storytelling mm -hmm. give us a character who's relatable who's compelling who has an inner desire that a lot of that carries over to improv so i know i recommend and i don't know my boy does yeah Get into improv, not Absolutely. so you can be the, the life of the party or the funniest person, but so that you can get deeper into your stories, so you can have more character development and go deeper and make that connection with people. So, yeah. Um, Never, Absolutely. You're never too old for your daddy. Oh, give you thanks, a kiss. Papa being Bear. Such a good boy. Yeah, I want to expound upon something you said. Sure. Is that improv really embraces failure, and that's something a lot of people struggle with in life. Adam Cauley from the Backline Podcast, three-time Canadian Comedy Award winner, he says that if you're not failing 80% of the time, like you said, you're not doing improv right. You're not taking risks. If you're completely comfortable on stage doing improv, you're not in the right place. So, and I think that translates to life. Yeah, same goes with speaking and storytelling. Get mm -hmm. up there. The person who gets up in front of an improv group on stage to tell a story or speech is so far ahead of most people who will never do it because they're too afraid. Absolutely. Get up there, take the risk. You don't fail, you learn, you move on.